Professor Green, hello. Thank you for speaking with Talk Sport. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? I am wonderful, wonderful. I'm looking forward to the weekend ahead. We all like a, a long weekend, don't we? We've got Good Friday, people off work on, on, on Friday and Monday, and I'm sure people are going to be out and about, taking the kids out and stuff. But uh, reading here, interesting campaign that over half of parents feel anxious and stressed planning a day out with their baby, uh, a quarter avoiding or cancelling them altogether. That's a lot of people, isn't it? A quarter of parents cancelling arrangements, scared to go out with their kids. Yeah, I mean, children are great excuses to have if you don't want to do something when it comes down to it. Uh, um, I think also a lot of the fear comes down to punamis, the explosive um, happening in nappies when they escape, which thank God Pampers have solved for all parents. You can now Panami proof your day out with Pampers stop and protect pocket, which is um, marvelous because anyone who suffered a Panami knows how blimmin. I mean, I don't even have the words for it. Mm. When you're holding your child and you're like, oh, this is, you know, what's that? Is it something, is that something warm and I can smell something. And then it's on your hands and it's on your clothes and it's on their clothes and it's everywhere. And it's probably the most inconvenient thing that can happen when you have a child, mm. especially when you're out and you're, you know, I mean, if you're able to not panic in those situations, it's probably not as bad, but I definitely have been guilty of panicking during a Punami. Um, and that makes it all the worse because then the kid starts kicking around and you get it on their hands and you're like, no, not in your eye. It's just, it, it, it's quite stressful. So I, I, I sympathise and I understand, but there is, there is hope. Um, and also as well, it's obviously not great for the parent, as you said, panicking in that situation, but it can also have quite a bad effect on the baby's skin. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, I would imagine so, especially if you're not prepared for it. You wouldn't want your child. I mean, yeah, like, the key is to just stop it escaping, keeping it as contained as possible, which the Stop and Protect Pocket does, and just getting it cleaned up as quickly and as efficiently as possible, which happens, mm. you know, it comes with practice. You should see me. I am incredible at changing nappies now. In the beginning, not so much, but I was hands on, uh, much to the dismay of my partner. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it gets easier. It, it does get easier, but th then things change and it gets harder again. It's um, it's just an ever evolving process, isn't it? I don't know. Do you have children? I don't have children. I know you can't see me right now. Sorry, my camera's not on. By the way, I'm in a studio, so I can't get. How old do you think I am? By the way, by the sound of my voice. And your voice about twenty eight. 25, yeah, 25. I've never even had a girlfriend before, so the chance of me having kids at the moment is, you know, it's just is not happening. Be, is that because you're such a bachelor? Because you can have kids without having a girlfriend. That is also true. I was in that situation. Uh, that, that is true. No, very, very true. I'm not a bachelor. I'm just not very good with the ladies, unfortunately. Oh. And now I know it's sad, and I get reminded about it almost daily on the TalkSport Breakfast Show. This sounds like a bit of a, a sympathy vote effort. I, I no, not I, at all. I, I don't, I don't want I sympathy. Don't think I, I just don't think I believe you. I think I think you're. you're just... I, I would not lie to you, Professor Green, about that. I promise you. I, I, you, you, how do I know you don't break promises? Could be empty for all I know. It's true. Okay, well, look, let me um, try and build up some trust, okay. uh, and then maybe you, at the end of this interview, you can you can trust me with these sort of things. Okay, but uh, for more on this, where can where can people go to find out more information about all of this? Google Pampers Stop and Protect Pocket or get to Tesco's and get yourself some and save yourself a whole heap of stress. Nice. Nice. Sounds good. Um, thank you very much for that. Now, Professor Green, yes. um, I was doing my research, as I always do, before an interview, yeah. and um, the internet told me that you're an Arsenal fan. Um, is that correct? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not going to say no because I've never switched teams, but I haven't followed football since I was 21 and I'm 28 now. So it's been a little while since I've kept up to date with sport, to be honest. Why did you stop following or supporting Arsenal? Well, you'd probably tell me that that was around the right time to, um, like all other supporters of teams who aren't Arsenal, but it wasn't that. I just became, ironically, women. Yeah, I got interested in other stuff, girls and 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 stuff outside of football. Can't you do both though, girls, girls and I mean, football? Just, or is there, it one there was or the a lot other? of other stuff. It was more like music as well. Like, but to be honest, yeah. one of my friends told me that I always should have remained a, a, a dedicated supporter, and even if I wasn't, I should have always told the person that I was with that I was, so as I always had that time. 
to go to the pub with my mates. Um, but yeah, I didn't. No worries at all. Um, well, Ray Parler is on the TalkSport Breakfast Show Friday morning. He's, of course, an Arsenal legend. Nobody has played yeah. more times for Arsenal in the Premier League. Just trying to work out dates of when you stopped and when Ray played for Arsenal. Did did it cross at all? Are you a, are you a Ray Parler fan? Do you know who Ray Parler is? Vague memories of. I was born in 83, so... 92, he made his Arsenal debut. Yeah, I mean, see, the thing is, my dad, the reason I ended up supporting Arsenal is my dad was a Tottenham fan. Um, <laughs> so so you, wanted, was, you wanted to wind your dad up? <laughs> completely, yeah. God knows he'd done enough of that to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was, yeah, it was, that was probably around the time when I started getting into football. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, you know, it was only sort of 10, 11 years after that I got out of it. Mm. And you mentioned there that, you know, one of the main reasons why you stopped is obviously your career and stuff and music. Yeah. Um, just sort of tell us, was it around sort of 21 that you first started wanting to, to get into music, you know, that writing songs? First, and... Yeah, that was when I first, that was, 21 was when I was, was when, <laughs> it was when I nearly went to prison and I got my first record deal. Um, and Busy year then. It was, it was quite hectic, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, <laughs> it really was. I remember Mike Skinner saying, listen, everyone's got a story, at least yours is interesting. Um, meanwhile, I'm sat there going, yeah, I don't know bird am I looking. Um, but no, it, was, <laughs> it was all right. I, thought, I, thought I was like, you clearly haven't had to worry about this, have you? Um, but yeah, no, I, it, for, thank God the police worked out that it was just wrong place, wrong person, wrong time, and I've got no further action. Um, and yeah, and then I signed to Mike Skinner's record label. And the rest is history. And I think it's fair to say you've sure. gone on to do quite well for yourself having you, Professor Green. But look, on Talk Sport Breakfast, a few of our presenters, they fancy themselves as, as singers and stuff. I mean, Ali McCoy, Snell in Brazil, and never not singing. And one time we had Stormzy in the studio with us on TalkSport Breakfast. Okay, I want to play you this because Ray Parler was alongside him and Ray Parler tried to rap, a, well, rap about the mighty Arsenal. Have a listen to this, okay? I remember 2003 in my whip with Thierry Henry. That man was murky. He could roast teams like a turkey. That Chip Vieira, that man was our breadwin. Opposition midfielders, he put the fear in. Pat was a skeng man and was no West man, but he wasn't just a hard thing. His game was painting. Us invincibles undefeated men them. Never looked skits, we all worked in tandem. <laughs> Wicked. What do you reckon, Professor Green? You're the expert. Come on, give Ray Parler some feedback this morning. How did he get on there? Ray, you've been watching a bit too much Top Boy, mate. Um, <laughs> and also, I sense a ghostwriter. <laughs> what do you mean, a ghostwriter? Like, I don't think he's penned that himself. Um, yeah, I can... I can reassure you that he is he is not penned that himself, no. Yeah, no, it didn't didn't feel like it came from the heart. It um didn't feel as honest as as raptured. Um it was awful. Sorry, I'm just gonna be blunt. Sorry, Ray. Awful. Awful. Terrible. Out of ten, what would you rate it? Can we go minus? Yeah, you can go, you can do whatever you want. 10. Minus sixteen. Minus 16 out of 10 for Ray Parler's rap with Stormzy. Okay, that's 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 fair enough. Um, elsewhere, are you a fan of uh, Governor B? Governor B? Yeah. Who's Governor B? No, he is. Governor B. He's a, a rapper. Am I? No? No, no. That's fair enough. All right, no worries at all. Sorry. We'll scrap that. We'll, we'll, we'll move on then to another one. Um, Professor Green, in your industry, you've... No offence um, no to... No, we won't play that bit out. Don't worry about it. I think he's he's, he's not... He's, he's nothing big time or anything. But um, in your industry, right, you've managed to meet loads of famous people and stuff. You've been all around the world and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I've got to ask you, okay, I want you to tell me your perfect dinner party, okay? Professor Green, you can have any three people in the world at your dinner party... One, two, and three. Who are you going for and why? Um, example, I met him when I signed to Mike Skinner's record label and he's one of my best mates from from any circle I've ever mixed in. Um, I love that guy. And he doesn't stop talking, usually about himself <laughs> and how many tickets he sold to his next um, tour, um, which always makes for a good laugh. Now, genuinely, he is, he is, yeah. he's, he's wicked. Um, example, Adele. Um, I'm not that close with her, but she's she's every time I've met her, she's been lovely and she's hilarious. She's not she's not shy of a word. Um, 
she's um she's funny she's funny um and who else gigs 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 definitely yeah so keeping up keeping all of the music then yeah man yeah definitely i don't really there's not really i don't know I'm trying to think who i met this a gig. like there's loads of people i know that are a giggle but if you're at, i don't know a dinner party you've got that success that's quite a long time to spend with people that you potentially don't want to spend that much time with <laughs> i don't quite and there's quite a lot of those people you kind of you say hello to them you, you, you I, don't, I don't ever say this but people are like yeah no no we should definitely hang out you're like why are we saying like why is this being said for the 14th time we only see each other in this environment and we're never going to hang out people are never honest about these things <laughs> never honest about these things i learned really early on if i'm somewhere where i need to have a drink to be don't be there um and that's basically every industry event um wow i don't know if i'm being too honest but no i, just, I, I honesty like, is the I best policy like, i feel like talk sport listeners can handle it you know what i mean we, we want we want as much honesty as possible yeah um so ray parlor doesn't get the nod then does he an arsenal invincible it's it just what it, it 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 to me it was it 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 wasn't the best rap in the world. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, Professor Green, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank, thank you for speaking with Talk Sport. Thank you. Take care, mate. Cool. Thank you very much, guys, for that. Have a nice day. Cheers. Take care. Take care. Bye. 